I'm sorry, the music is making me too emotional. We gather today to pay our respects to our dear friend Mario after his recent passing away. As most of you know, death was well acquainted with Mario. After falling from merciless heights, to running into enemies, to swimming in lava, Mario would always return just as happy and determined as ever to save Princess Peach. This made it all the more surprising when Toad came into the castle one day with a somber face, saying that Bowser had finally gotten Mario. Don't a worry, smiled Luigi. He'll come back, just like always. <laughs> How I wish that were true. <laughs> Toad went on to explain that on Mario's dead body was a note saying, Game over. Mario had run out of one-up mushrooms, and I could only wish that I'd been there for his final Mamma Mia. <laughs> we're not only here today to mourn over Mario, we're also here to remember the wonderful life he lived. Firstly, Mario always had a, a wide, mustachioed smile on his face, which reminded his companions that no matter what, he would help make things better. He exhibited this throughout my 11 fortunate years of knowing him. He would just say, let's -a go! And just like that, those who had lost hope would be reinvigorated. I first met Mario in Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Game Boy Advance, where I became friends with him very quickly. We both liked spaghetti, had brothers, and loved linear, side-scrolling Nintendo games. I partnered up with Mario to save the princess, but we ended up helping many other innocent citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. Each time Mario went to another world, he knew darn well that Princess Peach would be in another castle, but despite this, he continued to free others cursed by Bowser's wickedness. After many trials and tribulations, we merged victorious and saved the princess. Secondly, Mario serves as an example of perseverance for others. As I mentioned, he never gave up when confronted with challenges. But what many of you don't know is his troubled life outside of the games. He and I met up one day after Princess Peach had been kidnapped again. My friend, he began, I often feel like Peach doesn't want me. He continued to tell me about his separation anxiety and how often he considered giving up. There was an awkward silence, but then he added, but I keep working. Life's like a spaghetti noodle. You can be a lazy and let its hardness stop you from eating it, or you can boil it to make it better. I don't know if I'd ever been more confused. Still, I can only hope that Mario in can later meet me in the kingdom in that sky to explain that analogy to me. Lastly, Mario was a model of what it means to be a jack of all trades. Mario has participated in the Olympic Games, worked in medical fields, helped people learn to drive, and rescued abused animals. Mario learned how to excel in as many fields as possible so onlookers could be, as ins could be inspired to be that diligent. College kids, don't worry. He also showed us how to be the life of a party as well. Mario had many friends, as seen by the large number of you in the congregation today. Like all of you, I'm truly happy to say that Mario has had an influence on who I am. As I begin to conclude my time with you today, I want to thank Luigi for allowing me to speak at his funeral, at Mario's funeral. The Mushroom Kingdom has lost a great man, and the world has become a little less cheerful as a result. Mario, I know that you're up there with the Papa Pia now, and I can guarantee your friends here that you're shoving your face with that heavenly spaghetti that you're eating. Please, Mario, come back just one more time. We miss you, and we love you, and don't you dare forget that. And for everything you've done for me, I say thank you.